CNN's Chris Cuomo is an unhinged left-wing lunatic, and thanks to the YouTube channel That's the Point with Brandon, we now have a window into his twisted mind. The video shows Chris Cuomo losing his mind and threatening violence against a Trump supporter who called him Fredo, even threatening to throw him downstairs. If you didn't know, Fredo is the weak, pathetic brother of Michael Corleone in the movie Godfather. As far as I know, people have been calling Chris Cuomo Fredo for years now, but apparently he's been just stewing on it for all this time. I thought, I thought that's who you were. No, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh. Are you I got, I got it's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. Hilariously or pathetically, I don't know, but at one point, Chris Cuomo actually claimed that calling him Fredo is a racist slur. Leave it to a left-wing Democrat Party propagandist to make up racial slurs to cast himself as the victim when this video goes viral. And to make things worse, CNN is actually defending him and calling it a racist slur. This is apparently the default response to criticism to the media or Democrats now. Seriously, he literally just made up a racial slur on the spot, and not only that, but he actually compared it to the N-word. Personally, I think all words are powerless, or that they only have the power that a person gives them, but to claim that Fredo is somehow equivalent to the N-word is one would think completely unforgivable. But don't forget, Chris Cuomo is a Democrat, and not just any Democrat, but a big DNC propagandist. So he will be given the double standard treatment like all Democrats are. So is, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got Why something not? you want to say about what I do on television, then say it, but I'm going to fall me. Hey, man, insult. hey, listen. What? what? I don't want any problems. Bro. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking problem. Look, I call you punk bitch. You like that? You want well, that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. I you called me Fredo. You I know thought, my name's not fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. I thought your name was. Watch right. your hey, fucking hands. Take a man. swing. I'm no, no, come on, boy. I'm, I'm come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit then. Hey, listen, man. I'm not doing anything. I'll fucking wreck your shit. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't actually drink. You didn't know what you were doing when you called me Fredo? I thought it was your name, man. Is it just me, or is Chris Cuomo channeling a mafia gangster here? Nobody, literally nobody on the planet Earth can say considers Fredo a racial slur. Strangely, his corrupt cohorts over at CNN are running to his defense and backing up his claims of racial slurs. CNN spokesperson Matt Dornick came to his defense saying, Chris Cuomo defended himself when he was verbally attacked with the use of an ethnic slur and an orchestrated setup. We completely support him. What ethnic slur? I did an extensive search for Fredo as an ethnic slur and amazingly came up with absolutely nothing. That's because it's not a racial or ethnic slur at all. This is just CNN doing what it does best, lying. CNN analyst Ellie Honig also ran to Chris Cuomo's defense saying, somebody threw an ethnic slur at Chris Cuomo and I defend every damn word he says here. Chris Cuomo is a white guy, right? I've never once in my entire life seen a white guy get defended against a racial slur like this. Have you? But then again, calling him Fredo isn't a racial slur. It's just poking fun at a Democrat propagandist who says dumb shit on a regular basis. Even stranger is his co-host and fake Republican Anna Navarro once called Trump Jr. Fredo on Cuomo's show and without any of the pushback or claims of racial slurs. That his brother-in-law and sister did to be part of the uh, Oval Office and the White House staff. Uh, Daddy kept Fredo back home. so. Who cares what Donald Trump Jr. says? We all expect other left-wingers and Democrats to come to Chris Cuomo's defense, but what blew my mind are all the right-leaning figures coming to his defense. Sean Hannity tweeted out in support of Cuomo, saying, quote, I say good for Chris Cuomo. He's out with his nine-year-old daughter and his wife, and this guy is being a jackass in front of his family. In my humble opinion, Chris Cuomo has zero to apologize for. He deserves the apology. Are you fucking kidding me? An apology? For threatening to throw somebody downstairs for calling him Fredo? That could literally kill somebody for claiming that Fredo is the equivalent to the n-word what are you thinking Sean Sean Chris Cuomo gets on TV every night and labels you and people who support you as Nazis yeah Sean he was with his wife and nine-year-old daughter when he dropped about 20 f-bombs and threatened to throw somebody downstairs he didn't seem at all concerned with what his nine-year-old daughter was hearing and seeing so I couldn't believe what I was reading but then I started to see other right-leaning figures doing the same thing 
Why? Another curious defense came from the Daily Wire's Matt Walsh when he said, quote, What's pathetic is heckling a man while he's out with his family and secretly recording his reaction for clicks. You act like a fanning damsel over Cuomo's reaction, but if Trump acted the exact same way, you'd applaud him for being a fighter and a tough guy, and you know it. Chris Cuomo is a trash-talking DNC propagandist who gets on TV every night to demonize people like me, you, and Matt Walsh. Well, Trump and the right are under constant attack and demonization from the media and the likes of Chris Cuomo on a daily basis. How often do we get a chance to punch back? Chris Cuomo should be able to control himself and not threaten to kill people who call him Fredo. Blaming the cameraman for Cuomo's actions is virtue signaling. Yeah, we get it. You're a centrist. I see that you're trying to be the bigger man, but where has that gotten us in the past? It's gotten us to this double standard situation that we find ourselves in now. Matt, Sean, do you guys honestly think that by defending Chris Cuomo, that's going to earn you some points over at CNN? Or how about Anthony Scaramucci, Trump's former White House Director of Communications, who said, quote, Chris Cuomo threatens man who hurled Italian slur Frito at him. Very proud of Chris Cuomo. This happens all the time. It's quite racist. Is this guy trying out for a job at CNN or do they have dirt on him? All I can say is let the Fredo memes flow like wine. That's all I got for you today, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar, where I will be uploading an exclusive video every week. You can also send me a donation on PayPal, and I deeply appreciate it. Thank you.